Well, the results, the primary endpoint of our study was progression-free survival, um, and we found that the combination of verilimus and fulvestrin doubled the PFS from about 5.1 months to 10.4 months, which was a gratifying finding, um, and a finding pretty consistent with the type of, um, uh, you know, response or benefit um, that was seen in the Bolero 2 trial. Our study and the Bolero 2 study were actually conceived really at the same time by um, Novartis and others, and um, Ours took a little bit longer to get going. So if you look at the Bolero 2 study, I think the final results show that the XMS stain alone group had a PFS of about 3.2 months and that went up to about 7.8 if I have my numbers right um, it, for the combination of Averilimus with XMS stain um, in a similar AI resistant population. So our numbers uh, for Fulvestrin placebo 5.1 went up to 10.4. So the absolute value of the PFS um, you know, numbers in our study are, are even better than the results from the Bolero 2 study. Now, admittedly, these are apples to, uh, are not apples to apples comparisons, and I'm not implying that one is necessarily better than the other. Although it's, um, um, you know, so first I would say I think our findings are very consistent with, with those from Bolero 2. Um, that was a much bigger study, um, but uh, the findings are very similar. And um, what's interesting to me is the placebo arm, Fulvestrin alone, had a PF of about 5.1 months and the XMS stain alone arm was um, 3.2 months so you know some have suggested that in the aromatase inhibitor resistant population fulvestrant might be a better endocrine backbone to add drugs such as an mTOR inhibitor like a varolimus 2